In order to pass the measure, these parents and volunteers are rallying citizens and getting the word out about the benefits of improving Omaha schools. The Bond and Beyond, United for OPS, is holding community forums all the way up until the election with school board members present to answer questions about the proposal. The proposed bond for $421 million will be used to renovate current buildings, construct new ones, and invest in current technologies for classrooms. Student safety is also a priority, and part of the construction will be for creating shelter buildings as necessary in the event of emergencies. To empower these students in OPS, we need to invest in the buildings so that the way all of them are on par with each other as far as safety, technology, fire safety. But Nebraska Taxpayers for Freedom says the cost outweighs the benefits for those without kids in OPS. Bond supporters say improving schools can benefit everyone, though. The biggest thing is it's an investment in our community. There's no reason why a community this rich with culture, with population, employment, should have schools that are under par. If Omaha is to continue growing, the money will have to come from somewhere to support new buildings. We have the need for growth, and we know that we currently have 2,200 high school students in West Omaha, a significant number of high school students in South Omaha, and 1,800 elementary students in South Omaha that we don't have permanent space for in buildings. Reporting for the Omaha News, I'm Adam Preister.